Okay guys, we are making a right off Route 1 and entering the community of Vista Royale. It is mainly a 55 and older community, but there are about three buildings within the community that you can be any age. Uh, there are hundreds of units here, it's a very big community. Uh, nice amenities, there's a couple uh, swimming pools, clubhouses, a golf course. Very well kept community. The HOA fee, depending on the size of your unit, is about 300 to 350 or so. So it's a little bit high on the HOA, uh, but the units in here range from $80,000 uh, to $150,000 as points of reference. They have one bedroom and two bedroom units. Uh, the golf course uh, clubhouse is straight ahead, but we're going to proceed to just drive a little bit around the community. Uh, the buildings are labeled, uh, as an example, the one to the right of us is labeled Unit 55. And then within that building, Building 55, there's about, I don't know, 8 or 12 units. And so it's kind of like um, college dorm uh, housing. But the community itself has great um, walking paths. Uh, there's not dedicated walking paths, so excuse me when I say that, but the, the community's so big that you can walk these streets and you can get a lot of exercise and there's a lot of, uh, there's a peaceful community. Even though it's not gated, you see two people on electric scooters. Even though it is not gated, uh, it's very little uh, drive-through traffic. And the grounds are kept well. Uh, there is golf course, um, golf cart lanes uh, that go in and out of the community streets because, again, you're you're sitting on a, a, a golf course uh, within the community. And this huge complex uh, is very reasonably, reasonably priced. Uh, again, mainly, though, it's 55 and older. There's only a few buildings, three of them, that are any age. You can be any age. But the property taxes, you know, are very reasonable. Uh, depending on the size of the unit, you can get under a thousand dollars a year to over a thousand dollars a year in property taxes on average. So the, the property taxes are going to be below two thousand dollars per year for most units. And they have tennis courts and uh, workout rooms, uh, library, a lot of activities. Like many of the uh, communities this size, it's, it's based on being an active community where there is uh, a lot of interaction uh, with the residents. But there's still a high percentage, I would say, that are seasonal residents within this community. Um, and they do allow rentals. I'm not sure the the rental uh, restrictions. Uh, if you were looking at Airbnb, that's something you have to read the HOA docs. But a very peaceful community, okay, and you see the golf uh, cart to the left, you see an older couple sitting on a bench here to the right, I know we're going into the sun, but we'll turn away in a minute. Uh, but when I've come through this community, everyone has been very friendly, I, I would say you feel welcome, uh, even if you're under 55. I would say if you were interested in a condo uh, in the Vero Beach area, because that's where this is, then th you would do well overall in this community. Now, like any condo, the, the main negative, in my opinion, is you have shared walls. So if there's a leak above you or there's an issue on side of you, you're sharing walls. That's part of being in a condominium. But again, the chances of that happening, um, you know, are still not that great, but it's part of living in a, a condominium complex. So what I like about this that's attractive is it's a quiet, peaceful community, well landscaped. You can do a great amount of walking. You're safe. You have uh, swimming pools. You're 10 minutes from the beach, if that. You're close to shops. So you're not on the ocean, but you're very close to the ocean. And uh, for 80000 on the lower end to 150000 or so on the higher end, they're still reasonably priced. I mean, they're not huge units. I would say the smaller ones are around 600 square feet. And the two bedroom ones are around 1,200 square feet. So, you know, but a gorgeous landscape like you see, golf course, clubhouse, all the amenities that you'd want from a Florida 
active community. Uh, I would say well run. This is established. I think about 10 years or so ago, there was a fire in one of these units. And I think it was a renter left something on. And so the whole building was, I believe, uh, deemed unlivable. And they had to repair that entire unit. Uh, that was, you know, one of the negatives. Uh, you know, again, when you're living in a common building, okay, so, but that is rare. I don't know how long this community has been around, 30 years or so. There is a Wells Fargo Bank uh, within walking distance of the community right here as you entrance out on Route 1. Uh, there's a Wawa, Publix, Starbucks, uh, gyms within 15 minutes, Ocean within 10 minutes. So you have everything you would want, okay, in a community if you were looking for a condominium uh, in this area of Florida. So I hope that little tour, excuse the sun, I know we're going in the sun, I hope this little tour helped you a little bit. There is a st uh, storage uh, building complex across the street, you know, for a lot of snowbirds, I'm sure they keep their storage stuff in there. But uh, that's it. Now, I like this area of Florida. It's a little bit more quiet area. It's still considered South Florida, but it's toward the northern part of South Florida, just south of uh, uh, Melbourne and uh, Sebastian. So either way, I hope these videos help. Uh, if they do, click the thumbs up. You want to support the channel, click that blue join button. Share the video. Check out my playlist. I have a whole playlist about uh, moving to Florida, the steps, the perspective. And I do videos from different parts of Florida, different communities, houses, RVs, live chats, all that. All comprehensive channel. So thank you again to all my members. Thank you to everyone who watches the channel. Uh, keep pushing forward one day at a time, one step at a time. If you fall, you get back up, live below your means, self-care, top priority, uh, work, be productive, make money. Why? Because that's your best life. Laziness, letharginess, just laying around is your worst life. So, all right. Thank you everyone for watching. I will see you in the next video. Peace.